high crocheters of all around the world. In this tutorial I want to show you how to make these really really nice slippers, elf's slippers or jester's slippers. It can be a very very nice idea for a Christmas present or you can make it for you or for your family and I think it's it's a nice idea so these this is my first pair that I made and this is one of my second pair that I will complete here with you as you can see in this slipper I used red and green there are the colors of an elf slipper, elf shoes so you can work with any kind of color combination that you want and um, that's it, let's get started, hope you like it my idea so I am working here with a four millimeters hook and with um, crochet yarn red heart Detroit which is acrylic okay you will need for this project um, I don't know five maybe maybe less sure less than um, than um, a ball of yarn of uh, Red Heart Detroit like this so it's really not expensive as project so let us begin with the slip knot and chain of two now into the second chain from the hook or the first you made work six half double crochets and this is my first half double crochet one and two and three four five and six now slip stitch to join into the first half double crochet made which is this okay slip stitch to join and let's get started with the second round chain one and into the very first half double crochet let's work a half double crochet and all around one half double crochet into every half double crochet of the first round for a total of six of course we have two more okay so six half double crochets again slip stitch to join into the first half double crochet made and begin the next the third actually the third round with a chain one and one half double crochet into every half double crochet of the previous round two three four we can fold it like this it's easier four five and six here we are 
Okay, now we have three rounds, each of them of six half double crochets, and we need one more to complete the first part of chain one and work another one. I will put this inside. The tail because it's a little bit nosy this tail here <laughs> okay so chain one and again one half double crochet into every half double crochet of the previous round for a total of six again Four, five, and six. Okay, now slip stitch to join. And now we have our, as I said, first part of the pattern and from the next round so the the fifth round we have four yes from the fifth round we'll put an increase into the very first stitch of every round until we will reach 22 um, half double crochets so chain one and into the very first half double crochet make an increase so work two half double crochets and then all around one half double crochet into every stitch left For a total of seven stitches, of course, because we put an increase. So we will increase with one stitch per round. Insert your hook into the very first half double crochet made and slip stitch to join. Okay, now we'll go on like this. Working one increase into the first stitch of every round until we reach 22 stitches so now we have seven and we go on with an increase into the first stitch and then one half double crochet into every half double crochet left oops this is my dog excuse him he wants to participate Now, at the end of this round, we must have eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stitches. Insert your hook into the first stitch you made and slip stitch to join. So now we have eight, seven, eight. Okay. into the third round I am counting the rounds from where I put my first increase okay so my first round increase round was this with the um, seven then eight and this is the third round 
increase round and the same thing into the very first stitch put an increase so work two stitches together into the very first stitch and then go on working one half double crochet into every half double crochet left for a total of nine and as I said before we have to work like this increasing oops I worked an increase and we don't need the second one sorry it was my mistake okay so here we are with nine half double crochets one two three four five six seven eight and nine if you are not sure it's better counting just to be sure okay slip stitch to join and we'll go on like this so now we have three rounds increasing rounds let's go and work the fourth chain one and into the very first stitch half double crochet put an increase so work two half double crochets together into the very first half double crochet of the previous round and then go on to complete the round working one half double crochet into each of the half double crochets left unworked and uh, that's all for this second part of our pattern okay now slip stitch to join into the very first stitch okay and uh, now we have 10 stitches here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay because we are increasing by one stitch at round okay we are into the fourth into the fourth um, round and we go on with the fifth round one increase into the first stitch and then normally work one half double crochet into every half double crochet of the previous round for a total of 11 now so here we are is the last let's count them 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 so it's okay okay now we have one two three four rounds of six half double crochets and um, I like to put a marker just to be easier for us to count the second part of our slipper so one two three four so into this the fourth the fourth round so the last of the first part as I said I put a marker and now I know that from 
the, the next round we have the second part. So one, two, three, four, five. We have five rounds worked of our second part and we need 16 rounds. So 16 rounds and 22 uh, stitches at the end of this part. So into our 16th round. So go on like this with one increase into every at the mm, into the beginning stitch of every round and we'll uh, we'll have 22 stitches at the end of this part. So I am go uh, I am working this part. by myself. So we begin with an increase, then work one half double crochet into every half double crochet of the previous round. Let's work the sixth round together and then we'll have seven, uh, seven sorry, ten more rounds. Okay, and we have now 12 stitches into the sixth round. So we have to work 10 more rounds for increasing rounds for a total of 22 stitches. So work these 10 rounds and I will catch up you later for the third part of our of our slipper elf slipper okay so I finished my rounds for the second part of the pattern and uh, I reach here into the last round 22 stitches, 22 half double crochets and as you can see I put the safety pin here and now I can count it's easier to count the rounds for the second part so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16 rounds as I said so it's okay we can try to curl this it's okay and now for the third round for the third sorry part I will put here at into the last round a safe, safety pin marker 2 just to have the idea where I begin the third part for the third part we work, we'll work five rounds and we'll put two increases. So from 22 we will have at the end of these five rounds 34 stitches and uh, because we want to stay um, right not to go to one side or another with our work we want to go straight we need to work like this as we we work a um, something in rows so we have to turn after all after every round so chain one and turn and now I want to explain something to you those that don't know when we work like this in rounds as we are we, we work in rows and we have to turn the problem is the first stitch 
It's easy to work two stitches into the same first stitch and this is not good. Just one stitch um, at the beginning of the round and what's one stitch at the end of the round. And this is really, really a, um, a huge mistake. That's why I want to make sure that everyone understands. So, chain one and turn. I don't know how to... Okay, I will undo my slip stitch and now I will show you that we have 22 stitches here. I, I can't or already count them, so they are 22 stitches. The problem is that when we work the slip stitch Let's work the slip stitch like this. We can count this as a stitch and it is not a stitch. This is the mistake that um, some of the crocheters may, may um, do it. So that's why I am here to explain this little thing. Trick, crochet trick. So we have just one stitch, not two. Because, can you see, there are one and two. No, it's just one. So this stitch, we can choose to, to work it at the beginning of our round or at the end of our round. And in this stitch, we have to put the first increase. So chain one and turn. As you can see we have two spaces here but one, one stitch. Okay, it's one stitch, is this one, this one and we don't have two stitches, okay? So I will slip these, skip, sorry, <laughs> I will skip these because it's not a stitch, it's the slip stitch. And I will work my first increase into the second, so is the first actually, into the first half double crochet of the round. So one and two. Here I have my first increase. Then I am working normally one half, half double crochet into every half double crochet until I reach the last half double crochet where I put the second increase. So it's not difficult. The only thing that may gives you problems is uh, the first stitch. Okay. And if you are not sure, count your stitches. Very, very important. Count your stitches. Don't go further if you are not sure that you are okay with your stitches. It's very important. Okay, now here it is. I have two stitches left. So into the next I will work one half double crochet and into the last stitch which is here because can you see is this I am working another increase so now I am going to slip stitch into the first stitch to join okay so now we have 24 stitches here because we put an increase at the beginning of the round and at the end of the round. So actually we add, added two more stitches, not one more as we did in our second part of the shoes, of the slipper. Okay, now chain one and turn. This is the second round and we have the same problem. Two stitches seem, they are they, they, they seem to be two stitches, but it's only one, which is this one. 
So I will work this one at the end. So I will skip this and work into the first stitch my increase. So every round of these five rounds begin and end with an increase. This is the idea. So two, then let's work one half double crochet into every half double crochet for eight uh, until we reach the, se uh, the last one where we put our second increase of the round. And from 24 we'll have 26 stitches. It's easy, it's not difficult. It's really an easy pattern and you'll see Okay, go on all around working one stitch into every stitch of our last round, previous round, sorry, and oops, into the last we'll work our second increase of the round. So this is the second to last and this is the last, the first to last. Oops, this is the last, it's a little bit. Okay, one and two. So you can choose to work this one at the end or at the beginning of the round. I choose to work it at the end. So we have one, two increase. We, have, we need one increase at the beginning of the round and one increase at the end of the round. Now. I worked two rounds and we have three more rounds increasing rounds for a total of five and a total of 34 stitches. Okay. Okay. Let's slip stitch into the first to join chain one and turn. You have to turn as I said because we have to go straight. We have to go need a straight line, not a pending line to the right or to the left. Okay, so that's why I turn after every round that I worked. Okay, the same thing. Into the very first stitch let's make a half double crochet and another one, so an increase, two half double crochets together, then one half double crochet into every half double crochet and into the last stitch last half double crochet will work our second increase so we'll have 28 stitches at the end of this third round. I said 28. Yes, it's something. We need more. Three more rounds. Oops. Okay, working my second to last, and now my last stitch where I work. I'm working an increase. Okay, so I begin with an increase, I finish with an increase and slip stitch into the first stitch. Okay, now we have to work another three rounds. Sorry, I said 
five rounds for a total of five rounds but they are six of course because we work 22 stitches here into the last round of our second part and then we want to reach 34 stitches so we have with two increases so adding two stitches per round so this will be 24 into the first round 26 into the second round 28 into the third round which is this one 28 then 30 into the fourth 32 into the fifth and 34 into the sixth round okay so I'll make another three rounds and I will stop and catch up you to show you the next how to continue the pattern hope it's all clear until now okay so I completed my six rounds and uh, I have here 34 half double crochet crochets in my last round now if you think is um, is not enough for the width that you need for your feet or the, the feet to fit um, so the, the measure that you need so if you want it bigger I will show you that this is something of 10 centimeters if you want in inches or I don't know any kind of other kind of uh, measure you can find on the internet conversions so there's no problem so in centimeters is 10 okay so if you want it bigger it's no problem really really easy you can put one two three so more rounds of uh, increases like we did in this six rounds so you can go on increasing two and two to one increase uh, into the at the beginning into the beginning uh, stitch and one increase into the end stitch finish stitch so that's no problem if you want it bigger because maybe this is not very large okay but for me it's okay it works for me for my feet so it's it's okay for me and um, now what I want to do if it's okay for you you go on if you uh, don't want to to um, increase so now to go, to go on with my pattern I will put 10 more rounds of 34 uh, half double crochets that means that I will not increase anymore so we are actually ready with our increases for this pattern so these two parts are the most difficult parts because it's the two parts that we increase and uh, that's why I put the markers just to show you better the two parts of increasing okay now to go on as I said I will go on 10 rounds more to go on I will work into the same manner so turn and begin working the first round without increases for a total of 34 half double crochets or maybe more if you want to make it larger 
there's no problem. You can adjust the size very, very easy. Just adding two or three more rounds of increases and uh, you obtain a larger size. Okay? It's really easy to transform and to adjust it. It's really easy. And you'll see the length. It's really easy to, to adjust. Okay, so I will go on like this for 10 rounds more. As I said, without increases, I just work 34 stitches into every round. So this is really, really fast. Actually the pattern is really fast to crochet. You'll see for yourself if you want to try it. It's really easy and fast and it can be, as I said, it could be a very, very nice present, Christmas present. Okay, so now chain one and turn and we proceed with our rounds. Okay, let me finish these 10 rounds and I'll be back to show you how to continue the pattern. As I finish here my um, pattern, I can take off my marker and I will put it here. This is my first round. One, two, three, four, five, six. So into the last increase round and now I can count my 10 rounds easier. Okay, so these, I just worked two rounds. I have eight more rounds and uh, I will be back to show you the next 